it's a huge honour to be part of this consortium where what we're trying to do is to rebuild or regenerate lungs or the tubing uh, of the lungs to help people with breathing disorders. The lung is a very complex organ, so the aim of engineering lung is a very uh, difficult one uh, to achieve, but we hope in five years time that we'll be able, thanks to the consortium, to understand a bit more the mechanism uh, while cells assemble together and air can be exchanged between the, the lung cells and the blood vessels. Uh, and so this uh, will make the uh, milestones uh, that are needed to make eventually an engineer lungs. Basically our lungs are made of some tubing, so our windpipe is the main tube uh, and then the, it keeps branching so the tubes get smaller and smaller and this leads to some tissue uh, which is basically a bit like sponge where, and that's where all the air, the gas goes and goes across to the bloodstream, the cap capillaries which surround this sponge. And what we're looking to do is either to understand the stem cells that are making up all these cells and help them repair or regenerate, or potentially try and replace them. So the biggest challenge is the scaling up. Uh, the lung is a very complex uh, organ, but we know how it works at the micro scale. So little bits of lung can be mimicked in the culture uh, dish, and can, we can make uh, those uh, parts that are very similar to the lungs, but if we want to make something that is, uh, can be transplanted to a patient, then you need to scale it up. This is still very preliminary, but uh, eventually uh, we are confident that we, we could uh, build a, a lung one day that could be transplanted. So I'm a pediatric surgeon and I look after babies that uh, are born with lung problem or acquire lung problem earlier on after their birth because they are premature, for example. For these children at the moment there's no clear solution. There's some medication that make them better, but sooner or later they're going to have permanent problems on their lungs uh, and we don't have a solution. So I'm a doctor, a lung doctor, and I, I see people with lung diseases every day and having a lung disease is very debilitating, being too short of breath sometimes to even get to the bathroom. Some of these diseases make you so short of breath that if you take a huge deep breath in, right to the top, and then you try and breathe in again, that's what it feels like to have a bad lung disease, which is awful. And so to be able to help patients with lung disease by regenerating or helping their lungs repair is a huge personal goal.